one of the OBGYNs here at Rapid City Medical Center. I am here to talk today about the COVID-19 vaccine in pregnancy, lactation, and infertility. Um, while there is sort of limited research currently on pregnant patients receiving the COVID vaccine, the studies behind the mRNA vaccines themselves demonstrate that mRNA vaccines are safe in pregnancy. The important thing to understand is that the mRNA vaccine is different than some of the other vaccines that we receive in other times of our life. Like in pregnancy, for example, we received the pertussis vaccine and the influenza vaccine. And those vaccines work slightly differently in our bodies than the mRNA vaccine itself. How an mRNA vaccine works is that the mRNA vaccine itself introduces a small protein into your muscular tissue your body then associates it, your antibody machinery associates that into, um, like recognizes that protein. And then <clears throat> the mRNA vaccine itself degrades in your muscular tissue and dissolves within hours to days. The, what ha happens then is that your antibody making machinery takes over and then creates antibodies to that protein that it sees from the COVID-19 virus itself and your body then creates antibodies to COVID-19 from that little piece of protein that was found in your muscle. What's important about that is that the literature suggests, although it's not always clear, but the literature suggests that that piece of mRNA, that protein that was um, put into your muscle with the vaccine, degrades within hours to days, therefore not likely to cross the placenta and extremely unlikely to be in breast milk. If it was in breast milk, it would be degraded in your baby's GI tract. What's important about that is that you let, your baby would likely not see any of the mRNA protein that was put into your muscle with the vaccine, but they will get the beneficial, um, the benefit of having that antibody pass through your placenta and into your breast milk. So the moral of the story for pregnancy and lactation is that it's safe, it should be very effective for you and it could theoretically protect both you and your baby with your two shots that you get. Regarding infertility, that's a different story altogether. There has been some, um, a lot of misinformation put out on the internet about the COVID-19 vaccine causing infertility. And the first thing I will say is that the technical definition for infertility is age dependent, but it's also based on 12 months for people under the age of 35 experiencing an inability to conceive after 12 months of um, normal periods with regular time to intercourse during a fertile window. That's the definition of infertility. The vaccine itself has not been available for 12 consecutive months to be able to give us that definition for the majority of women who are diagnosed with infertility under the age of 35. The reason that the, that the rumor came around on the internet is because there are proteins that are found inside the uterine lining um, that help to recruit the placenta to um, implant on a certain part of the uterus. And the name of that protein is more similar to the spike protein that's found in the mRNA COVID-19 vaccine. What's important about that is that there is no connection between that protein that, uh, that recruits the placenta to implant in the uterus and the spike protein on the COVID-19 vaccine. That's, there's nothing, they have nothing to do with each other. They are both proteins and they have similar amino acids like a lot of proteins do, but they do not do the same thing. They do not have the same function. They are not the same protein. There is just this wrong association that was made up on the internet. So what's important is that people understand that any viral illness that you get, whether that be influenza, SARS, CoV-2, you know, anything like that, that those viruses if you get the infection, that that infection can cause systemic inflammation, particularly when you have high fevers, and that can lead to infertility in both females and males. And so it's important that people understand that if you get COVID, that you're actually at a higher risk of infertility than if you were to get the vaccine. Um, so in some ways, the COVID vaccine may actually prevent infertility that we may, may or may not be able to find in people with COVID. I would implore you when you are able to, to receive the COVID-19 vaccine. And if you have questions to ask your, your provider, 
if it's regarding pregnancy, lactation, or infertility, um, we here at Rap City Medical Center um, are encouraging our patients to receive the COVID-19 vaccine when they feel they're comfortable and safe to receive it. Um, but we're here to answer questions for you um, at any time about the, the vaccine, and we'd be happy to see you at any time about um, any gynecologic issues or obstetric issues that you have in the future.